the seven most frequently asked questions about PIP in Forex. Today we will answer the seven most frequently asked questions about PIP in Forex. If you're new to the Forex world and eager to learn about it, you're in the right place. Here are the seven questions we will be covering here. 1. What is a PIP in Forex trading? 2. Why are PIPs important in Forex trading? 3. Can the value of a PIP change in different currency pairs? 4. How do you calculate profit and loss in PIPs? 5. Can you make a profit with just a few PIPs in a trade? 6. What role do PIPs play in risk management in Forex trading? 7. How can I use PIPs in my trading strategy to set realistic goals and manage risk? We have a lot to cover so let's get started. Question 1. What is a PIP in Forex trading? In Forex trading, a PIP stands for percentage in point or price interest point. It's a standardized unit used to measure the change in value between two currencies in a currency pair. PIPs are a fundamental concept because they represent the smallest price movement that can occur in the Forex market. Here's what you need to know about PIPs. 1. Definition. A PIP is typically the smallest price move in the exchange rate of a currency pair. For most currency pairs, one PIP is equal to 0.0001, or 1 one hundredth of a percent. 2. Significance. PIPs are crucial for measuring the change in value between two currencies and assessing the profitability of a trade. They are used to calculate profits and losses. 3. Value. The value of a PIP depends on the size of your trading position. For a standard lot, 100,000 units of the base currency, one PIP is typically worth $10 in most currency pairs. For smaller positions, such as a mini lot, 10,000 units, one PIP is worth $1. 4. Examples. If you buy a currency pair at 1.2000 and it moves to 1.2001, you've gained 1 pip. Conversely, if it moves to 1.1999, you've lost 1 pip. 5. Decimal places. Forex prices are usually quoted to 4 decimal places, and the last digit represents a single pip. Some currency pairs are quoted to 5 decimal places, where the fifth digit represents a fractional pip, often called a pipette. Understanding PIPs is essential for calculating risk, setting stop loss and take profit levels, and determining the potential profit or loss in a Forex trade. They are the basic building blocks of Forex price movements. Question 2. Why are PIPs important in Forex trading? PIPs are crucial in Forex trading for several important reasons. 1. Measuring price movement. PIPs serve as a standardized unit to measure the smallest price movement in currency pairs. They allow traders to quantify and track changes in exchange rates accurately. 2. Calculating profits and losses, pips are used to determine the profit or loss in a trade. By understanding how many pips a trade moves, traders can calculate their gains or losses in their account currency. 3. Setting stop loss and take profit levels, pips help traders set precise levels for stop loss and take profit orders. These orders are essential for managing risk and locking in profits, and they are usually defined in terms of pips. 4. Risk management, pips play a critical role in risk management. Traders can calculate their potential loss in pips and adjust their position size accordingly to control risk within their risk tolerance. 5. Goal setting. Pips allow traders to set realistic trading goals. By defining how many pips they aim to capture in a trade, they can establish clear objectives for their trading strategies. 6. Comparing currency pairs. Pips provide a basis for comparing price movements across different currency pairs. This uniform measurement makes it easier to assess the relative strength and volatility of various pairs. 7. Precision in analysis. Traders use pips to conduct technical analysis, identify support and resistance levels, and assess market trends. Pips help traders make informed decisions by quantifying price levels precisely. 8. Accounting for leverage. Pips are fundamental when considering leverage, which can amplify both profits and losses. Traders must understand how PIPs relate to leverage when managing their positions. In summary, PIPs are essential tools for Forex traders to quantify price changes, calculate profits and losses, manage risk, set trading objectives, and make informed trading decisions. They are a fundamental concept that forms the basis of price movement analysis and trading strategies in the Forex market. Question 3. Can the value of a PIP change in different currency pairs? Yes, the value of a pip can change in different currency pairs in forex trading. The value of a pip is primarily determined by 1. Currency pair. The value of a pip depends on the specific currency pair you are trading. Some currency pairs have a fixed pip value, while others have a variable pip value. 2. Exchange rate. For most currency pairs, 
a pip is equivalent to 0.0001 or 1 one hundredth of a percent. However, this value can vary. In some currency pairs, such as those involving the Japanese yen, JPY, a pip is typically 0.01, or 1 one thousandth of a percent, due to their lower exchange rates. Here are two examples to illustrate the concept. In the euro to US dollar currency pair, where a pip is typically worth $10 for a standard lot, 100,000 units of the base currency, if the exchange rate moves from 1.1200 to 1.1201, you've gained one pip, which is equivalent to a $10 profit. In the US dollar to Japanese yen currency pair, where a pip is typically worth $1 for a standard lot, if the exchange rate moves from 110.50 to 110.51, you've also gained one pip, but it's equivalent to a $1 profit. It's essential for forex traders to understand the specific pip value of the currency pair they are trading, as it affects position sizing, risk management, and profit calculations. Always check with your broker or a pip calculator tool to determine the pip value for the currency pair you're interested in. Question 4. How do you calculate profit and loss in pips? To calculate profit and loss in pips in forex trading, you need to consider the following factors. 1. Position size. Determine the size of your trading position in lots. A standard lot is typically 100,000 units of the base currency, a mini lot is 10,000 units, and a micro lot is 1,000 units. 2. Entry price. Note the price at which you enter the trade, expressed in the number of digits after the decimal point, for example, 1.12345. 3. Exit price, record the price at which you close the trade, also expressed in the same number of digits after the decimal point. 4. Currency pair, identify the specific currency pair you're trading, as the pip value can vary between pairs. Now, follow these steps to calculate your profit or loss in pips. 1. Subtract entry price from exit price, calculate the price difference between your entry and exit points. This provides the price change in terms of decimals. 2. Convert to pips. For most currency pairs, a pip is equivalent to 0.0001 or one tenth th of a unit. Multiply the price change in decimals by 10,000 to determine the profit or loss in pips. 3. Account for position size. Adjust the pip value based on your position size. For example, if you're trading one standard lot, each pip is worth $10. If you're trading one mini lot, each pip is worth $1. 4. Calculate profit or loss, multiply the number of pips by the pip value to find the profit or loss in the account currency. A positive value indicates a profit, while a negative value represents a loss. Example. You entered a long position in euro to US dollar at 1.1200 and exited at 1.1250. The price change is 1.1250 to 1.1200 equals 0.0050. Converting to pips, 0.0050 times 10,000 equals 50 pips. If you were trading one standard lot, your profit would be $10 per pip, so the total profit would be $10 by 50 pips equals $500. Understanding how to calculate profit and loss in pips is crucial for risk management, setting take profit and stop loss levels, and evaluating the performance of your trades in the Forex market. Question 5. Can you make a profit with just a few pips in a trade? Yes, it is possible to make a profit with just a few pips in a trade in Forex. While a few pips may seem like a small price movement, the potential profit depends on the size of your trading position and the number of pips gained. Here's how it works. 1. Position size. The size of your trading position significantly impacts your potential profit. The larger the position, the more money you can make for each pip gained. 2. Leverage. Many Forex traders use leverage which allows them to control a more substantial position with a relatively small amount of capital. Leverage can amplify the potential profit for a given number of pips. 3. Scalping and day trading. Traders who engage in scalping or day trading strategies aim to capture a small number of pips in a short period. These strategies are designed to profit from small, frequent price movements. 4. Multiple trades. By making several trades with small profit targets throughout the day, Traders can accumulate profits from just a few pips in each trade. 5. High-frequency trading. High-frequency trading systems are capable of executing numerous trades in a fraction of a second, aiming for tiny price movements and accumulating profits over time. It's important to note that while it's possible to profit from just a few pips, it also comes with increased risk. Small price movements can quickly turn against you, leading to losses if you're not careful. 
risk management and discipline are crucial when trading for small pip gains, as well as having a well-defined trading strategy and a clear understanding of leverage. Question 6. What role do pips play in risk management in Forex trading? Pips play a critical role in risk management in Forex trading by helping traders quantify and control potential losses. Here's how pips are central to risk management. 1. Position sizing. The number of pips you are willing to risk in a trade directly influences your position size. By determining the maximum number of pips you can afford to lose, usually set as a stop loss, you can calculate the appropriate position size to manage risk effectively. Smaller position sizes limit potential losses. 2. Stop loss orders. Traders use stop loss orders to specify the price level at which they are willing to exit a trade if it moves against them. The distance between the entry price and the stop loss level is measured in pips. This ensures that losses are contained within predetermined limits. 3. Risk reward ratio. Pips help in establishing a risk reward ratio for each trade. Traders typically aim for a favorable risk reward ratio, such as risking 1 pip to make 2 pips. This ratio guides them to set take profit orders that are further from the entry point, ensuring that potential gains outweigh potential losses. 4. Profit and loss calculation. Pips are used to calculate potential profits and losses in a trade. By multiplying the number of pips gained or lost by the pip value, traders can assess the monetary impact of their trades. This information helps in planning and evaluating risk. 5. Setting realistic goals. Traders can use the number of pips as a basis for setting realistic trading goals. By defining profit and loss targets in pips, they can create clear objectives for their trading strategies. 6. Leverage consideration. Pips also play a role in evaluating the impact of leverage on risk. High leverage can magnify both profits and losses per pip, so traders must be mindful of their leverage level. In summary, pips are essential tools for measuring, controlling, and managing risk in forex trading. They guide traders in determining position size, setting stop loss and take profit orders, calculating potential profits and losses, and establishing risk reward ratios. Effective risk management is vital for preserving capital and achieving long-term success in the forex market. Question 7. How can I use pips in my trading strategy to set realistic goals and manage risk? Using pips in your trading strategy is essential for setting realistic goals and managing risk effectively in forex trading. Here's how you can do it. 1. Define your risk tolerance. Before entering a trade, determine the maximum number of pips you are willing to risk in that trade. This is usually done by setting a stop-loss order at a specific price level, measured in pips from your entry point. Your risk tolerance should align with your overall trading plan and the size of your trading account. 2. Calculate position size, based on your risk tolerance, in pips, and the distance from your entry to your stop-loss level, calculate the appropriate position size. Position size determines how many lots you should trade, taking into account the potential loss in pips. Smaller position sizes reduce risk. 3. Set take profit orders, in addition to stop loss orders, set take profit orders to specify the number of pips you aim to gain from the trade. This defines your profit target and helps you establish a favorable risk reward ratio. 4. Use risk reward ratios, determine the risk reward ratio for each trade by comparing the potential loss, in pips, to the potential gain, in pips. For example, if you're willing to risk 30 pips, set a take profit order that offers at least a 1 to 2 risk reward ratio, for example, 60 pips. 5. Evaluate market conditions. Assess the current market conditions and volatility to adjust your risk management approach. Highly volatile markets may require wider stop loss and take profit levels. 6. Diversify your portfolio. Avoid putting all your capital into a single trade. Diversify your trades across different currency pairs, which can help spread risk and reduce the impact of a losing trade. 7. Regularly review and adjust. Periodically review your trading strategy and adjust your risk management techniques as needed to adapt to changing market conditions or personal risk tolerance. By incorporating pips into your risk management strategy, you can set clear and achievable trading goals, protect your capital, and enhance your trading discipline. Effective risk management is key to long-term success in the Forex market. And there you have it. The 7 most frequently asked questions about PIP in Forex.